Hey, hi. Hello. Hi, Swish. Okay, so I should be a bit professional. <laughs> Just a minute. I'll connect my earphone. Okay. So, am I audible? Yeah. Okay. okay. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing great. At home. How are you? <laughs> so good to see you. Yeah, after a long time. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so guys, welcome Suyash in 10 minute with toppers. He will he will take your queries and uh, I have noted down also some queries sent by you guys. So thank you so much Suyash for joining and I'm so happy to see you personally also. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me here and hello guys. Uh if you are listening to me, thank you for coming here and being a part of this program. Okay, so uh, let's let's get started. Uh, so, a lot of people are like you know aspire to become IFS. So, I mean, they don't really know how's the life after becoming IFS. So, if you can share some some of your experience. Okay. Uh, so, although I sh- should we uh, do it in English, Hindi, both? Dono mix. Hmm. Dono mix. Okay, right. So. Uh, Yes there is a lot of you know uh um, confusion regarding service preferences there are people who wish to take IFS but they don't have much information about it uh but uh, the thing is once you get into the service you realize the kind of opportunities that you have right and the way the, the service is there there is there is a lot there are a lot of things that you cannot just post it publicly right there are sensitive things there are certain things that should not be you know uh, put in public so that's why there is not much information available for example our workplaces and all so there are certain rules that you cannot post this thing uh, on your social media and all so or you cannot uh, give certain kinds of information even about our houses and all because sometimes uh, these are sensitive places it may not be in countries like germany where it's absolutely safe but in other countries yes there are certain rules uh so that that is the reason why uh, we don't find much information about the ifs but uh, that being said it's an absolutely amazing service there are lots of opportunities and the graph just keeps on going higher you know the career graph the kind of opportunities you get it's st- it does, it's not as exciting as the other services uh, the other home based services as in the ias ips because you are right in the middle of action from day 1 itself right so ifs has a learning curve you cannot expect your diplomat to you know the the uh, the younger diplomats to directly go and handle something uh, really important because then it would have a major impact right uh, on on the image of the country and all so there's a learning curve involved people have to learn how to you know the the delicate skills of diplomacy and those days of you know uh, days of uh, should i say uh, princess and those people going into diplomacy or those people just from uh, high class backgrounds and big colleges going into dipl- diplomacy are long gone now people right from rural areas those from humble backgrounds can also target to become india's diplomats and to represent the real india uh, in a real sense right so when a person comes from such a humble background which includes me as well we need to learn certain things and it takes some time so the initial period in the ifs involves a lot of learning in in that duration one has to be really patient you know we cannot compare ifs to the other services right it's like comparing medical and engineering you know it's as different as that when you compare ifs to ias or ips or irs because you don't want a doctor to you know just acha medical school mein aage aap mujhe ab theek kar do waise nahi na because the kind of skill set is different you have to go through a rigorous training process and then you get to learn then you come out as you know a acha diplomat you know you know how to speak what to speak when to speak 
how to negotiate how to get the best things for your country so that's why it's different it's challenging interesting and uh, i would just encourage people to think about it amazing amazing i mean yeah. i think so this will inspire many people to think into going as an ifs officer reason being they'll be able to truly represent the what is real india so thank you so much suresh for that absolutely uh, another question i wanted to ask is about your preparation i mean i know mm-hmm. it's been some time but still you know uh, the motivation is one factor i feel you know drive everyone and that is the one thing that True. if someone lack then it it become a real issue and they are not able to focus on their study so how you kept mm-hmm. yourself motivated and i feel you are the right person to you know motivate students who are there in the call so that will help many aspirants yeah uh yeah it's it's been quite some time now but we have uh, kept ourselves ourselves involved in this whole guidance guidance uh, process me uh, navin and all all the friends we have always tried to guide uh, the students so we are totally into it you know hum samajhte hain ki students kis cheez se ja rahe hain and i think that is one way of contributing back because all of us have come from small backgrounds and we know what kind of struggle it involves the lack of guidance and all so it's on our part we are trying to give it back to the students on the motivation aspect yes the first and foremost thing is that this exam will break you you know that is the nature of this exam you know if we are not uh, feeling a lack of motivation or we are not uh, uh, facing that challenge you know if we are not uh, feeling stressed depressed then i think we are doing something wrong then maybe we are not preparing enough for upsc so the first thing is to accept that yes this exam is challenging and that's why we have targeted it right ki aasan cheez to hame karni nahi hai humne challenge hi itna bada accept kiya hai and it, people talk about internal motivation and all yes that is important but uh, it it doesn't always work you know we get depressed naturally it's it's but natural to have that dilemma to see the competition and then to feel that uh mujhe nahi ho payega and that is when we require some people some stories to inspire us you know we need to look at people who have been through more uh, you know difficult processes and who have come out stronger for me personally see i think everybody should have a role model and idol in front of them and as i suggest I, as i always tell them uh, while preparing for ethics paper they should have one uh ideal role model or ideal examples and one real life uh, person or role model who's there at present so the real life ones could be people who have actually cracked this exam who have been through the process and whoever they can connect with you know could be multiple people as well so that could be their role model following them and uh, seeing uh, how they overcame uh, their uh, problems and for uh, you know some role models that could continuously perpetually uh, inspire you uh, right throughout the process and even after that it has to be there i personally followed chhatrapati shivaji maharaj his life story and used to read about him every single day you know and it kept me motivated because i knew that the things that he did was pretty amazing unimaginable uh, considering you know when you uh, listen or you read about it in that context similarly dr baba saheb ambedkar you just start reading about these people and you would be amazed the kind of struggle they have had and the kind of challenges they have had and then you then one realize ki hum jo problems face kar rahe wo kuch bhi nahi hai and to be able to even be a fraction of what they were it is totally worth it to you know continue with the struggle so i think it's uh, if we have these motivations whenever we are low whenever we are down so i think it it just boosts uh, boosts our confidence i think it's important to have some motivations amazing amazing so i mean this was like really really very important advice you have shared and guys i mean i would personally request after this session please do keep your motivation or ideal people whoever you follow in front of your study table so you you know you get inspired every day and keep yourself pushing uh one more question i wanted to ask mm-hmm. so is 
about what is your favorite memory from IFS training? It's probably from me. <laughs> uh, frankly speaking, for me, Labasna was such an amazing experience. Oh uh, FSI training, IFS training comes after that, but I'm including them together. For me, Labasna was like a dream come true. It was actually living a dream, you know, and I made such amazing friends. All, all my friends, most of my best friends are from Labasna. And then some of them also continued into the IFS training. During the IFS training, see, IFS training is very multidimensional as with the, uh, as with training of the other academies as well. So it involves a lot of classroom teaching, you know, ex ambassadors and dignitaries and, uh, you know, uh, people who are holding important positions come to your classrooms. They tell us your experience. And these are people who have like traveled all across the world and imagine the kind of experiences they have gathered, you know. Some people talk about their life in Kabul, in Pakistan, and then shifting over to, you know, say, for example, the Bahamas or Africa or the US, Australia. So they have such wide range of experience and they can actually compare things, you know, they can take a topic and then just uh, compare that particular topic and tell about things that were actually happening during those times that are happening now in different geographies, time locations. And it's absolutely amazing. But I was not a classroom person at all. I have, uh, you know, I always tried to bunk my classes. Uh, uh, and I was more, oh, I, I liked uh, going on these trips and, uh, you know, they take us on, uh, take us to uh, different missions. We call it mission attachment. They take us to the army. In, during the army attachment, there is Bharat Darshan. I was more fond of learning through these experiences than classroom teaching. You know, after MBBS, MD, UPSC, uh, I was done with classroom uh, learning. So my favorite memory was during our mission attachment, uh, which was in Sri Lanka. They had taken us to Colombo, our uh, high commission over there. And it was such, a, such an amazing experience to see how, uh, how an embassy works, how we coordinate with that country, how the local politics works how it is trying to drift away from India, how we just convince them and, uh, you know, uh, negotiate things and keep them with India, keep them as close to India as possible. And it's, it's pretty amazing. And then, of course, in the IFS, you are taken good care of. The government really pampers you. So that is also uh, an added advantage. And uh, coming from... You know, coming from a small but ambitious town like Nanded, you know, you have never seen this life. You know, I personally, I had always dreamed to become a collector. You know, I had started my journey to become an IS. And uh, by the way, it's still my favorite uh, preference. Okay. Carder choice. So if guys, you are confused between any other service and IS, go for IS. There's, it's a no brainer. IS is IS, you know, Baki sub. It's your choice, your preference. If you really like foreign service, then maybe you could go towards the foreign service. Otherwise, there's a no-brainer. But you have to first know what this service is about, like I did. I wanted to be an IS, but I read about IFS. I got convinced that, okay, this one might suit me better. You know, I can play a larger role in this or this lifestyle suits me. You know, this is what I would like to be in the future. So then I shifted towards IFS. So that is an informed choice. But... IAS or KC or service key, uh, as such, I don't think uh, it's even comparable. I mean, the kind of work an IAS does. However, I'm drifting away uh, a little from the question, but I need to put this, uh, uh, I need to clarify this thing that I'm not a big fan of this uh, hard segregation, you know, kind of segregation of powers between the services. I think the kind of work that an IAS and IFS can do together could be incredible. And I think in my service, and I think all my IS friends also, we will try to do this, you know, bring this, say, for example, people in the IS should be allowed to come here, you know, to serve here, to observe, not on, you know, a few a week, a week trip or a month trip or so, but for a longer duration. So also we should be given the opportunity to work as a collector or with a collector, at least, so that we could together, say, for example, me and Naveen are working in a district in West Bengal on a wonderful project like uh, Project Malda, Magic Malda. 
and probably we could contribute from our experiences and with you know their support so things could move forward faster you know and we can improve these things slowly so uh i think i i i favor such kind of collaborations and if we have that thing in mind then the segregation between ias and ifs doesn't matter but if you like the lifestyle the work you know representing india working on a global scale and all ifs is better and the training process overall prepares us for that and that is what makes it truly fantastic sri lanka was a brilliant experience for me i would and i would also like to add one more point they took us uh, for our military attachment army attachment to the loc and that was a life changing experience for me to see our people uh, in the uniform our soldiers you know putting their lives at risk when we are comfortably sitting here it was truly life changing for me i was i was right there at the loc with uh, maratha infantry and the kind of risk that our brave soldiers face it's truly incredible so and it was independence day yesterday i should wish you all a belated independence day and that reminds me of our soldiers and i think that was the best moment of my life being with these people over there amazing amazing sure i think i have gone overboard no, sorry no, 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 no. bolne lagta hu to <laughs> uh, okay uh, oh. this small thing which came in my mind so it's it's not related yeah. to this discussion at all my sister in law is also preparing for uh, upsc so she want to become ifs yes. few days back yeah. she was like little confused that you know uh, what should i do and all those things and then navin was like you see only the difference is i was posted in malda and suresh is in munich <laughs> 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 that's so, true <laughs> and that keeps happening my is friends are like yaar tere bahut maze chal rahe honge and i keep telling them tumhare bahut maze chal rahe hai yaar main to india waste kar raha hu i keep on telling him like i see your pictures on insta and then i'll be like yaar baby yeah. look at suresh i want to go to germany nahi aapka to ghar hai aap to kabhi bhi aa sakte ho basic cheeze available nahi hoti thi like i ordered yeah, something and it was in 15 days delivered yeah true true okay. that's true but but let me tell you uh what i i'll tell all the aspirants ki dikhao pe mat jao theek hai instagram wagere wo bahut alag cheez hai facebook True. instagram reality bahut alag hoti hai theek hai like i said there are many things which we are not allowed to post True. there are many things which we uh, are not supposed to post and we which we would not like to post also right nobody likes to post the difficult times aap mujhe udas rota hua nahi dekhna chahoge na yahan pe ki ye kya ho raha hai iski life mein and you wouldn't imagine an officer posted in germany being depressed but yes that happens sometimes when you miss your family you are alone here the culture is different aap kisi se baat nahi kar pate you don't know the language the weather is so difficult i came here in winter and for few weeks i couldn't maine suraj dekha hi nahi there was no sunlight at all and i didn't have many friends so it was kind of depressing at that time i don't mean that this is not a fantastic place once you get used to it no place like this you know it's it's absolutely beautiful lovely people but then initially it was difficult and i miss india of course okay so I, that I is miss india yeah. I, i got something so <clears throat> you are away from country from a quite long time so what do you miss yeah. more about india what do you value more now that <laughs> you are away wo to hum door hote hain to hame cheezon ki zyada value ho jati hai tab zyada yeah लाइक आई ऑलवेज टेल माई फ्रेंड्स मैं डी डी एल जे का शाहरुख बनने निकला था पर स्वदेश का शाहरुख बन गया तो द थ्री थिंग्स दैट आई मिस द मोस्ट आर द थ्री एफ्स वन इज फैमिली फ्रेंड्स एंड फूड ओ गॉड आई मीन यहाँ आके जितनी याद अपने फैमिली की फ्रेंड्स की आती है एंड फूड यहाँ बहुत से इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट है बट ओ गॉड अपने यहाँ सीरियसली मतलब मेरा तो कभी कभी मन करता है सब छोड़ के ना कि रेस्टोरेंट खोलू यहाँ बस दिखाने के लिए कि ऐसा होता है इंडियन फूड नो वी कैन जस्ट विन दिन ओवर दर्ल्ड जस्ट विद आर फूड यू नो सिर्फ छोले कुलचे और राजमा चावल खिला के ना एग्जैक्टली सॉफ्ट डिप्लोमेसी चल जाएगी हमारी पीपल वुड लव इट प्लीज 
but but these are the things that you miss you know the small things even the chaos itni shanti hai yahan pe ki kaha gaya wo wo ready wale kaha gaye wo wo rickshaws aur unka shor kaha gaya sometimes you miss those things yeah, yeah. you know we, we so you miss going out in farms yeah exactly and wo जिंदगी का हिस्सा है और हमने इतना फॉर ग्रांटेड ले लिया है वो कॉर्नर पे जो चाय बेचने वाला होता है या पान वाला होता है जहाँ पे सब दोस्त इकट्ठा होते हैं मिलते हैं वैसी चीजें नहीं होती यहाँ पे या स्मॉल थिंग्स नो स्मॉल रिटेल शॉप्स एंड ऑल यू डोंट फाइंड इट हियर द कनेक्शन यू हैव विद दीज पीपल इट्स ऑल सो वेल ऑर्गेनाइज दैट इट काइंड ऑफ टेक्स यू अवे फ्रॉम 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 द काइंड ऑफ लाइफ दैट यू वॉन्ट द सोल इज समाइम्स मिसिंग बट इसका अपना चार्म है ऑफ कोर्स यहाँ आके पता चलता है कि किस अच्छाई के साथ आई मीन किस डेवलप्ड लेवल पे इंसान जी सकता है यू नो द काइंड ऑफ सिस्टम दे हैव बिल्ट सो मच टू लर्न वेरी ऑर्गेनाइज बट आई थिंक थोड़ा के इन्होंने इंपोर्ट करना चाहिए इंडिया से लाइक वी लर्न समिंग्स फ्रॉम देम दे शुड लर्न समिंग्स फ्रॉम अस you know i would really like to see yahan nukkad pe koi chai wala agar chai bechne lag jaye it would be pretty famous <laughs> samosa samosa ke sath main aati hu so... pure din mein ek chai ka chai chai achhi banata hu ha bahut bahut maza aayega okay so yes one one more advice what would you like mm-hmm. to give to the aspirants who are writing this year prelims in october because of covid <clears throat> logo ka schedule sab idhar udhar ho gaya and Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think so. You you are so isolated right now. How you are keeping yeah. yourself happy and motivated? Wo same thing people can apply here in India also, right? Because <coughs> so, COVID ke chalte, wo chai pe nukkar wala mal nukkar pe chai wala. Wo band ho gaya. Kuch nahi hai abhi. So everybody is at home. How how they can mm-hmm. you know keep themselves very positive in environment and mm-hmm. motivated and you know just make sure ki yeah. ma wo apna hundred percent be October wale prelims mein mm-hmm. just clear. Yeah, I think these are difficult times for all of us. Unprecedented. Kabi, हमने सोचा ही नहीं था कि इस टाइप का ऐसा वक्त भी आएगा, right? And we were not prepared. ना हम as officers, ना आप सब लोग. मतलब कोई भी नहीं, students भी नहीं. But I think we'll have to realize कि सब we are all in the same boat. सब और this is also now this is also part of your UPSC. प्रिपेरेशन और योर यूपीएससी चैलेंज कि आप इस फेस को भी कैसे हैंडल करके सक्सेसफुल होते हो ठीक है आपका कॉम्पिटिटर भी वही कर रहा है ना तो यू हैव टू कीप योर सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड दैट वे इन द सेंस दैट यू डोंट हैव एनी अदर ऑप्शन ठीक है कि दूसरा चारा क्या है हमें करना ही पड़ेगा सो वेन वी डोंट गिव अवर सेल्व मेनी ऑप्शन वी हैव टू डू इट राइट you have to stay connected with your friends and family which is very important i think uh, that is the most uh, underrated thing ki hum jo hamare paas hai uski value nahi karte hum itne acche dost ho ke bhi ab main aur navin ya hum sab dost hum bhi bahut frequently baat nahi kar pate but when that's the most important thing right ki agar hum baat karne lag jaye share karne lag lag jaye vent out your frustrations or problems It, life becomes so much more easier. We realize that utna utna bada problem nahi hai. There are countries, there are places which are facing larger problems, right? Ye to kuch bhi nahi hai unke samne. So that way, is stressful time me khud ko motivated rakhna hi padega. We don't have any other option, right? And agar nahi ho pa raha depression aa raha hai ya kuch bhi, seek help. You know, talk to people. There are people who are facing this, facing similar things but wo bhi ye soch rahe ki kaise baat karu aap bhi waise hi soch rahe ho agar aap dono ek dusre se baat kar loge to depression chala jayega aapka right so that is also important ki hum apne barriers break karke uh, ek dusre se baat karne lag jaye that is important and regarding exam i would uh, like to tell the aspirants to focus on three main things okay uh लाइक एवरीबडी से स्मार्ट वर्क करना चाहिए और प्लानिंग अच्छी करनी चाहिए सो दिस इज वी नो दैट कि वो करना ही है एंड आई वोट गो मच इन डेप्थ एक एडवाइस अगर चाहिए लोगों को तो आई वुड सजेस्ट फॉलो ऑफ डेमी 
<laughs> and of course we have our youtube channels as well yeah. we keep sharing uh, jo bhi hame lagta hai jab time milta hai tab so people can follow that but there are three things that i would suggest jo logon ne aspirants ne dhyan mein rakhni hai one is that they should know themselves first know yourself first okay uh sabse pehli cheez i think kisi bhi battle mein jaane se pehle is to know your strengths and weaknesses to agar tumhe lagta hai ki tum jaldi thak jate ho tum jaldi depress ho jate ho accept it theek hai that's how i am waisa hota hai mere sath that's the first thing and then we can work on it theek hai so first know yourself second thing is to know the know your aim theek hai ki tum kya target kar rahe ho ye koi choti exam nahi hai you are targeting one of the most toughest exams right in the country or probably in the world so you know your target and know the path towards it so jab tumhe realize hota hai ki ye bahut difficult hai stop blaming yourself or stop being too harsh on yourself ki yaar mere sath aise ho raha hai main pad nahi pa raha hu mere ko depression ho raha hai it's okay ye target hi aisa hai ki tumhe wo hoga just accept it the like you accepted yourself ki ha mujhme ye strengths hai to ye weaknesses bhi hai usi tarah upsc agar aapko kuch opportunities dene wala hai aage if it is making you a more aware aspirant a more aware citizen so also it would put you under tremendous pressure right so you have to accept it theek hai mushkil exam hai difficulty to hogi hi and the third thing is to know your competition so agar tumhe mushkil ho rahi hai to usi tarike se tumhare jo competitors hai unko bhi mushkil ho rahi hai agar tum so rahe ho to you should realize ki tumhara competitor nahi so raha hai अगर तुम गलत टेक्निक्स अपना रहे हो पढ़ाई के तो यू शुड रियलाइज कि तुम्हारा कॉम्पिटिटर तुमसे एक स्टेप आगे जाता रहेगा अच्छी टेक्निक्स अपना के सो आई थिंक दीज थ्री थिंग्स एवरी एस्पिरेंट शुड रिमेंबर फर्स्ट टू नो हिमसेल्फ और हर सेल्फ टू नो हिस्स टारगेट एंड दी पाथ टूवर्ड्स इट एंड टू नो दैट द कॉम्पिटिशन इज फियर्स एंड वी हैव टू यू नो बक अप टू फेस दैट कॉम्पिटिशन आई थिंक दैट वुड बी माई एडवाइस थैंक यू थैंक्स सो मच thank you <clears throat> i mean I, i really have no words to thank you enough this has been like amazing amazing session and i personally feeling so good to talk to you and i'm <laughs> same sure here this same here student i would definitely love this session so thanks a bunch thank you hum bolne pe aate hain to we can just you know din bhar baat kar sakte hain i would love to have a one more session <laughs> with you sometime when you're exam yeah yeah sure sure free. i mean it's awesome definitely definitely bahut acha laga thank you same here Uh, it was wonderful to connect and i hope uh, the students benefit out of this Definitely. and kuch bhi doubt ho to of course they can contact you and then to me or could directly write to me on instagram youtube wherever but i would uh, suggest or i would request the students to follow such nice initiatives like obdemi jab hum prepare kar rahe the to i wish hamare paas authentic guidance hota humne bahut dhakke kha ke fir जैसे तैसे मैनेज किया नाउ दे हैव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी घर बैठे कुछ बिना किए एंड बाय द गाइस बाकी क्लासेस की तरह ऑफ डे में हमें स्पॉन्सर नहीं करता पैसे नहीं देता दोस्त हैं इसलिए नहीं बता रहा दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज आई गेट सच मैसेजेस कि तुम्हें पैसे मिलते हैं क्या या गॉड मतलब ये तो हाइट हो मतलब दे आर फ्रेंड्स एंड दे आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू हेल्प यू गाइस मोर इंपॉर्टेंट मोर एक्जेक्टली दे आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू हेल्प यू इट्स नॉट एनीथिंग लाइक दिस एंड या वन एक्जेक्टली सो बहुत सारे बच्चों ने पूछा है आईएफएस का सैलरी कितना होता है बहुत अच्छा होता है गाइस आईएएस से बहुत अच्छा होता है ट्रस्ट मी देखो सैलरी के लिए आना है तो आईएएस में मत आओ आई एम टेलिंग यू ठीक है क्या बात बट फिर भी नहीं नहीं मतलब सिर्फ सैलरी के लिए अच्छा हां हां No, don't come with that no, motivation. No, they were comparing. They were comparing the IAS no, or IAS no. का salary comments. So I'm saying IAS का बहुत better है. नहीं अब सारी चीजें IAS को थोड़ी देंगे. IAS के पास इतनी सारी चीजें हैं ना. हमें थोड़ा कुछ दे दिया है. I'm telling you ना. My favorite service is IAS. Although I know IAS is better, but still, even now, no, my, I I love IAS. <laughs> <laughs> We have this argument always. But yes. Uh, वो सी एज आई सेड देर इज नो कंपेरिजन आई एफ एस हैज इट्स ओन पर्स क्योंकि हम बाहर रहते हैं वी हैव टू मेंटेन अ सर्टन स्टैंडर्ड ताकि दुनिया को ऐसा ना लगे कि ये इंडियन डिप्लोमैट इंडियन गवर्नमेंट उसके डिप्लोमैट का ख्याल नहीं रखती है एंड दैट इज विद एवरी एवरी डिप्लोमैटिक सर्विस दे हैव टू मेंटेन अ सर्टन स्टैंडर्ड सो फॉर दैट इट इज नेसेसरी क्योंकि हमें हर चीज सिखाई जाती है 
हम वो सब सीख के नहीं आए ना वी आर वी हैव नॉट लर्न दिस इन आर ड्यूरिंग आर स्कूल्स एंड ऑल किसने सपना देखा होता है कि डिप्लोमेट बनेंगे पार्टी मुझे तो सिखाया जाता है एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली दैट इज द फन पार्ट ऑफ आई एफ एस ना और उन पार्टीज में कैसे तुम्हें होश में रहना है और दूसरों से बातें निकलवानी yes. है वो भी राइट सो दैट इज दैट इज द स्किल दैट वी हैव टू लर्न so but coming back to the point salary wala aise nahi ki i am dodging the question uh, salary kafi achhi hoti hai yeah uh, i don't think i should put a number to it yeah. uh, right now okay but uh, at least four or five times to hoti hai theek hmm. hai when you are outside india when you are in india baki officers ki tarah hi milti hai hmm. but when you are outside india so बट हाँ खर्चे भी उसी तरह होते हैं लिविंग आउटसाइड राइट सो दैट इज आल्सो देयर आई थिंक सैलरी से इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सपीरियंस की बात है ठीक है आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑफिसर बन के ना कोई भी ऑफिसर लाइक लाइक आई ऑलवेज से हाँ सैलरी के लिए नहीं बनते वो एक अलग पैशन है यू नो यू कैनॉट कंपेयर इट विद अदर सर्विसेस अब आई एस हो या आई एफ एस हो वेन वी मीट यू नो टॉप नॉच बिजनेस मैन एंड पीपल हु जो नॉर्मल बिजनेस भी कर रहे हैं सिटी सिटी में उनके पास बहुत पैसा होता है यू नो वी कॉन्ट इवन इमेजिन ऑफ अर्निंग दैट मच अमाउंट ऑफ मनी यू नो बाय बाय फेयर मींस आई मीन बट स्टिल द काइंड ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट दैट वी वी गेट इवन फ्रॉम दीज पीपल सीनियर पीपल एल्डर पीपल फ्रॉम देम यू नो अभी तो हमारी कुछ उस तरीके से ना एक्सपीरियंस है ना एज है कुछ भी फिर भी दैट इज बिकॉज वी हैव दिस टैग ना आईएएस का या आईएफएस का तो उस दैट रिस्पेक्ट इट कांट बी मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी तुम ये छोड़ के अब आईआईटी से वगैरह इतने स्टूडेंट्स हैं आईआईटी आईआईएम करके आते हैं या मेडिकल से उसमें तो इतना पैसा है उस उस लाइन में जाओगे तो आप पैसा कमा लोगे ज्यादा बट द काइंड ऑफ रिकोगशन यू गेट हियर द काइंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अनपैरल पैसे में गिना ही नहीं जा सकता एंड एज आई से इट्स मोर और लेस अ मिडिल क्लास ड्रीम which is a good thing i'm not saying it's a derogatory term yeah middle class is the backbone of any country right and we have a booming middle class and this booming middle class is aiming at something really good and i i really like it because our democracy our constitution our system gives us the opportunity ki chote se chota banda bhi aage ja ke top pe pahunch sakta hai officer ban sakta hai even till the pm the president i mean which other country these countries are amazed to see that ki इतनी छोटी लेवल से भी आपकी कंट्री में इतने बड़े लोग बन सकते हैं इतनी इतने फॉलोअर्स हो सकते हैं उनके या इतने चेंजेस ला सकते हैं सो आई थिंक दैट इज वॉट वी शुड दैट इज वॉट इज गुड अबाउट दिस सिस्टम सो इवन इफ दिस इज अडल क्लास ड्रीम आई वुड से दैट आफ्टर बिकमिंग एन ऑफिसर ऑल्सो यू विल स्टिल बी अ मिडिल क्लास ठीक है पीपल शुड नॉट टेक इट अदरवाइज की क्या मिडिल मिडिल क्लास को एकदम ना एक डेरोगेटरी वो बना दिया है कि मिडिल क्लास है मिडिल क्लास वन शुड बी प्राउड यार वी वर नॉट मिडिल क्लास हम पॉवर्टी से उठ के यहाँ तक आए हैं राइट एंड इफ यू लुक एट आर ग्राफ्स वी विल नॉट स्टे हियर वी आर नॉट हियर टू स्टे इन दैट कैटेगरी वील राइज बट ऑफिसर बन के भी यू विल स्टिल स्टे इन मिडिल क्लास बट योर लाइफ स्टाइल योर दैट चेंजेस कंप्लीटली इवन विद इन इवन इफ यू आर अ मिडिल क्लास यू kind of experience the life of what the elites live and you form a bridge between that so called elite which is disconnected completely and the class that is aspiring to you know go there so you are a beautiful bridge between the two so as an officer aap chahe jitni bhi salary kamao that doesn't matter aap chahe district mein ho state capital country capital ya dusri country ki capital mein ho you form that bridge you know both these worlds and you can you know just channelize to tab aapki salary matter nahi karti usse zyada matter karta hai ki aap dusro ki salaries badhne mein kaise madad kar rahe ho and that satisfaction is unparalleled ab log jo sun rahe hain wo bolenge ki yaar isko um, kitne paise kamata hai wo batana nahi tha isliye itna bada lamba chauda bhashan isne de diya but aisa nahi hai guys सैलरी अच्छी मिलती है एंड फैसिलिटीज अच्छे मिलते हैं फॉरेन सर्विस में घर हो या वॉट एवर बट अगेन माई पॉइंट इज इस चीज के लिए मत आओ कुछ ऐसी चीजें हैं जो आप इमेजिन नहीं कर पाओगे द काइंड ऑफ प्राइड माई पेरेंट्स या आप आप भी देख रहे होंगे यू हैव सीन नवीन स्ट्रगल बिफोर एंड नाउ यू नो वी आर स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग हमारी स्ट्रगल्स थोड़ी चेंज होगी है 
but the kind of pride our families feel to be associated with us that is unparalleled matlab paisa na bhi mile wo cheez nahi khareed payenge hum hai na so i think that this thing has been highlighted by many people i am just telling it one more time that's it thank you suresh <laughs> thank you so much i mean i i it's like amazing session mere paas zyada aur words hai nahi thank you bully ke liye nahi ye ghar ka hi session hai so you don't have to thank me much so but and bachcho ko bahut bahut help mila is session se and i think so this is one of the best session i had so far so thank you okay. such a big compliment thank you so much thank you so and much. whenever whenever obdemi or the students need us need me i'm always here ठीक है, we'll find time and we'll do more such sessions to awesome, help awesome. the students, okay? Thank and I congratulate you for such a wonderful initiative. And like I said, हमारे टाइम पे क्यों नहीं शुरू किया? पहले शुरू करना था. Okay. Thank you, Suresh. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Jai Hind. Bye.